Welcome. No. What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome. Today we're continuing the Gintama journey with episode 90 and 91. As always, if you enjoy the content I'm making and you want to support this channel, you can head over to my Patreon. Link is in the description down below. You can also join the Discord server if you want to talk, hang out, have some fun. Because everybody wants to have some fun. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. So let's get into episode 90. We're on episode 90, guys. 10 more episodes to go. And we're in the 100s. Now, thinking about the 100s, I was planning on making an arc ranking video of all the arcs we have watched so far up to episode 100. Uh, not in numbers, but in letters, like from, I don't know, F to rank S. S is the best, F is the worst, but there's actually no no arc that would be an F. I think like the worst arc would be a C, maybe, but yeah, we'll see about that. Let me know what you think about this idea and write down in the comments if you want to see me upload that kind of video. Yeah, so let's get into episode 90. The twist at the end caught me off guard. I was... I was fooled. I was a fool the whole time. And I think <laughs> being that... Well, it, does, it wasn't that obvious. At first I thought it was Elizabeth because Elizabeth was shown before Katsura. K Katsura. Before Katsura. So at first I thought, what? Elizabeth? But Katsura made so much more sense because she was talking about the eyes, that which is, has the most expression in a person's face, at least in my opinion. And... <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Elizabeth doesn't really fall in that category because she, he, it has very expressionless eyes, as we all know. So it made it even more ridiculous that she would be into Elizabeth. <laughs> but hey, it was... It made it so much more... Yeah, the payoff was so much better. Because I didn't... I did not expect it at all. <laughs> and her say <laughs> It's not even her saying. They're just showing it at the end. That she's spending some time with Elizabeth. Jesus. So good. What a nice and hilarious episode. Really enjoyed it. Another good thing about this episode, Hasegawa. <clears throat> I gotta watch the movie Sin City, by the way. Not something I've mentioned before. But yeah, I gotta watch it. Tell me if you have watched it before and if you got the references. It appears to be a pretty good movie. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to see for myself. So talking about Hasegawa. <clears throat> yeah, this episode again made it clear why he is one of the best characters in this series. We've talked about it before. His life is full of downs and very few ups but the the ups make it so much more mm, satisfying and, and impactful to the watcher and to Hasegawa himself he always has so much bad luck it's not it's not realistic at all <laughs> how can one person have so much bad luck that might be the case for someone in real life. Who knows? 
I'm really sorry for that person. But to keep struggling, to keep fighting, to keep going, like Hasegawa does, that represents his strength of character, his his will to persevere, which cannot be said for a lot of other characters in the series and for a lot of people in real life. Were they in Hasegawa's position? Who knows how many would have already given up, for example, committed suicide. But he hasn't yet. Of course, there were hints that he wants, wants it all to end, which is understandable, natural. But he never went through with it. There's the reason, because just something keeps him going. His encounter with the nurse just made it or emphasized why he should keep going. Hasiga was a great guy, a really empathetic guy who can understand people because of the stuff he has gone through and is going through. He has seen life from a lot of perspectives, interesting perspectives, and so he can relate and sympathize with so many people. Which makes him also so likable. He said... Uh, what did he say exactly? A good woman deserves to be happy. Something along those lines. That was so heartwarming to hear him say that. And Gin said at the end that Asegawa actually did give her courage, a lot of courage, to, to just go for it. That is exactly what he did. He convinced her to overcome her worry and anxiety and to just give it a try. So we have to commend her for actually doing it. And of course Hasegawa for being the one who encourages her. All in all, great episode. Let's get into episode 91. This episode was also so damn hilarious. It, but it was at the same time so refreshing to see the perspective of all of the female characters, all of the women in this story, at least the most important ones. All six of them being together in that kind of scenario where they have to fight against each other. It was a good way to show their individual personalities because <laughs> in this episode they really shined for each and every one. This episode as a whole reminded me or the premise of this episode reminded me of those episodes for example like uh, the battle for Nabe Shogun, that was the first one we saw. Then, for example, the sandpaper episode in the Yagyu arc. Just these episodes that are about very common objects. Objects you would use in, in daily life. But they become the center of a conflict. And this conflict allows us to get a deeper insight into the minds of the characters and the thought process they, they go through. I think I've said the same thing before, like on the episode of the Nabe Shogun. 
And it's also a kind of parody of other anime where they are 100% serious about that. And they just go deep dive into all the kinds of thoughts the characters have while being in the midst of a battle or a conflict, as I said. Those episodes are always so hilarious and funny. And genius, just genius. To make that kind of a story out of something so ordinary, it's only possible in Gintama. It's, it really is. And it works every time. I don't get tired of these episodes. You don't, at least I, I don't get bored while watching these episodes because they are so well done. So well written. The jokes are funny. This episode especially was... <laughs> in combination with the very unique personalities of of the female characters. Just amazing stuff. Yeah, what more can I say? I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed this reaction, this video, and you want to see more... Guys, I forgot my line. Uh, you want to see more? Then, yeah. If you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like. Comment down below what you think about the potato chip episode. Hmm. Do you love these episode, ep 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 episodes as much as I do? Or... Do you not? Let me know. And subscribe if you want to see more. So, enjoy your day, take care, and bye.